I'm Hannah Wallace and welcome to Finextra TV. We're here at Merchants Payments Ecosystem 2022 in Berlin. Kindly joining me now in the lounge to discuss the future of the terminal is Nit Tal from Klarna and Kai Lindstrom from SOK Payment Services. Hello to the both of you. Thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us. Hello. It's Hello. nice to be here. So great to have you both on and looking forward to discussing uh, this topic, which is at the heart of a lot of discussions at this year's event. So Nitsan, coming to you first, could you bring us up to date with uh, the world of unified commerce and what are customers' uh, expectations in this space and what does that mean for the merchants and the payment providers? Yeah, so um, obviously after the two years of the pandemic, the expectations of uh, consumers, especially the younger, the one, younger ones, Gen Zs, Millennials, has changed a lot after uh, two years of shopping online, mostly shopping online for everything or almost everything. Uh, there's a lot of expect, are a lot of expectations that uh, that also the uh, in-store experience would um, also be in, in some way similar and as much as possible. So. Um, whether it's uh, be able to uh, personalize your shopping, get personalized offers, for example, um, whether it's uh, being able to have different ways of uh, payment at a checkout, not just your uh, the normal, uh, I would say, credit debit, uh, and whether it's even different uh, new technologies uh, that you could try out in the store while you shop, so, for example, augmented reality or smart mirrors. This has all been um, very much pushed uh, by uh, what, what uh, consumers got used to in the online shopping space. Sure, so what's going to help there? What's going to really sort of bring people back into in-store shopping and uh, what's driving the growth in sales that we're seeing? So um, the key that we see is definitely creating a, a more compelling uh, shopping exp or I would say shopping journey or customer experience, which starts way before uh, customers enter the store, right? Starts at home uh, when they are uh, researching, finding inspirations for new shop, for things to buy, um, and um, how the, um, how, where they look for it, uh, interacting with them in the ways that they find meaningful, whether it's through social media, influence marketing, um, and not just again on, on, on broadcast TV over that or, or, or just in a single on a single outlet. Um, and of course, important part is um, when actually shoppers have uh, completed their shopping where it, again, um, then it's also to have this flexibility in the shopping methods. So whether so some of course want to pay now as usual, some say, okay, I want to pay in 30 days, just like, like I do online, uh, exactly, right? So, uh, because I may want to return some of the goods and I don't want to pay everything up front. Um, and some want to pay uh, in installments um, for various reasons. Um, and they all expect this flexibility to have that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And let's bring in SOK's uh, input then, Kai. Uh, what change are you seeing here, especially since COVID? Well, um, regarding payments, I think that this kind of personal, personalized space uh, has grown and so that the people want to finalize the purchases on their own. So what, for example, we have done is that we have increased the number of, uh, of automated self-checkouts because, you know, people just don't want to go to the, to the normal cashier lines anymore because they are a bit afraid, you know, of course, with the masks on and so forth. Now, thankfully, it's uh, starting to be a little bit of a thing of the past, but still, people still prefer going to these uh, self-checkouts. Uh, you know, uh, use of uh, contactless cards has increased tremendously. We have something like 65% of all transactions made with contactless cards, 5% made with, with mobile wallets. So people definitely want to pay something that they don't want to touch the devices and, sure. and so forth. So that's, that's what we see at least. And, and also we don't have unfortunately yet, but what I hear from the peers from different countries is that this kind of a, uh, you know, uh, scan and go, scan and pay kind of services are increasing as well so that you can do that self-checkout yourself and then you, off you go. 
All right, that's interesting. And that leads me quite nicely into uh, the final question, the crystal ball question, as it were. What can we expect from this space? So drawing from the discussions you've had during uh, the event, uh, what do you think the future holds in this space? And how do you see uh, retail transforming? Kai? Sure. So um, what we feel is that uh, the channels, different channels will pretty much merge together. So, you know, it doesn't matter if you are in the in-store, you probably will still pay with the similar methods that you would do uh, e on, online in e-com or mobile com. And, and you know, the, the future is mobile. Everyone is using their mobile phones. We saw today there were some statistics that the amount of transactions finalized on customers or consumers' mobile phones is already passing the number that is made uh, with computers, laptops and, and tablets. So people are shopping with their phones and, and that's what we see happening also uh, in, in all channels, also in in-store and, and like mentioned, these kind of a scan and go kind of applications with, with which you will pay inside the app and then just you know, go through the gates and, and that's it. And even the likes of, um, you know, Amazon Go and Tesco's equivalent uh, solutions that you don't even have to do anything. You just go and, you know, pick the items you want and then you go through the gates and, and you're, you're done. So, so I think that it's moving towards that kind of a direction. Maybe little by little, but uh, the trend is there definitely. All right, so watch the space, it's safe to say. So a lot of change to come. Uh, well, gentlemen, thank you so much for sharing your insights. So let's get back to the event, but uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you thank very you. much.